Finally, there seems to be light at the end of the tunnel as the leadership of the House of Representatives, the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, and the Office of the Accountant General have agreed to a timeline of three months to co-opt features of University Transparency and Accountability Solutions, UTAS, into the Integrated Payroll Personal Information System, IPIS, to make it more efficient for salary payment for the lecturers. The agreement was reached at a tripartite meeting called by the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabiamila. Imano Lehi Jene reports. So, the demand of academic staff union of representatives and the federal government disagreement over mode of payment of staff salaries, the Speaker and the House leadership called a tripartite a meeting between all parties on Monday. Baja Biamila, while speaking on the essence of the meeting, said it is to have a timeline that will be acceptable to ASU and the federal government. He reminded ASU without the agreement in the last meeting with the leadership of the House was that features in UTAS will be brought into IPPIS. ASU, let bygones be bygones. Let us move forward on how to resolve the issues. Um, the Accountant General has said, if I hear you correctly, that by January, February, you'll be done with this. That's the timeline you've given us. You said three months. Starting from maybe 1st of November, let's just say. Yeah, so January, February, everything would have been sorted. So it is now for subject to them uh, cooperating and submitting, submitting the list of peculiarities um, um, uh, that... Um, that are associated with um, the universities. Uh, President. His position was alighted more by the acting accountant general, Okelebo Silva. He assured that IPPIS will meet everyone's expectations. That was why we were saying that wouldn't it be better for the country Nigeria to develop its own software so that the access will be unfettered within the country and then you will now be in a position to control whatever information flows in and flows out. ASU President Manuel Osadeke, however, demanded an agreement to guarantee that the agreement to integrate features of UTAS into IPPIS will not be reneged by the federal government on the long run of bearing in mind past agreement. He said UTAS was not brought by ASU as an imposition but that it was the government that taxed ASU to come up with an app that will sanitize the payment system in the country since IPPRS has created more problems than solving them. This position was supported by another ASU member. Strike with call off. Our member also do it on, our, on trust on us because we didn't have anything we presented to them. Because just for the trust and the way they have seen the speaker, the, the three meetings and the way we are going, it, on that basis they agree we are able to convince them. So I think that we also look at other issues and reach a, a very meaningful conclusion on them. We are not saying this because of the interests of our members, but because of the interests of a country called Nigeria. It is very vital. Our education is in their need of all sorts of things. Most importantly, human resources. Let us also stop going into this whole argument that uh, IPPS is a foreign software. No, it is not. It is locally designed. Okay, it is done by Soft Alliance Nigeria Limited. They are Nigerians. So I don't know where this argument is coming from. Okay, so, so one last point, Mr. Speaker. Okay, now all of these arguments behind. Now, ASU and your leadership and your members, I'm begging you, I'm pleading with you. Please come over. If now we are unable to do it, if when we stand and then we are unable, then come back and report to them that we can do it. ASU was later sure that the proposed software will achieve the desired results. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.